Hey guys, welcome to another critical look back over a game. Um, today it's Vengeful Spirit, and uh, I'm working my way through all the heroes, doing the All Hero Challenge. Um, and I think I'm something like seven or eight percent completed at this point. I don't know. There are 110 heroes, and <clears throat> well, it's gonna take a while, but I'm looking forward to the journey. In any case, um, yeah, go and venge, and uh, I'm perfectly content to do the whole position 4 or 5 roll. Um, as you can see, I was, pr like, initially we had some pretty good picks, um, some pretty good picks, uh, and we should have had some pretty nice lanes. Um, I would have liked to see... Like troll go mid maybe, but but coddle mid was fine because that lets you know troll can still get farm top. Omni supports him. I support PL bottom. Um, unfortunately, they have a wind ranger and Lena bottom, which makes harassing and out like zoning them out really difficult. Um, because as you know, Venge's range is uh, 400. Yeah, it's 400. And PL has like melee range, and <laughs> Wind Ranger's 600, and and uh, Lena I think is 625 or 650. What is she? Can I not click on the Lena? What is she? 670. Okay, so that that's okay. So that's pretty ridiculous. So there, I wasn't gonna be able to zone them out. They both have lots of like spammy castable shit. Like Wind Ranger's got her W. Her arrow, uh, Lena's got her Q, especially her dragon slave. So um, I kind of just tried to soak up as much XP here I could. Um, I didn't really have to pull the lane. Here I got in some harassment. Of course, we can't really kill her. Um, but yeah, I didn't have to pull the lane because they were pushing the lane pretty well. So um, in hindsight, I probably should have stacked, been stacking the jungle. But I really did want the XP because um, levels on Vengeful Spirit is is really useful. Items, not so much on Venge, but levels are really important. BL played the lane pretty well. I was pretty happy with it. Unfortunately, uh, our top lane, not so hot. Um, the Omni and the Troll, some miscommunication issues, uh, you'll see. <laughs> um, our Coddle is actually doing quite well at this point. Um, he's up against, I guess he's up against the Shadow Fiend, yeah. So not doing terribly. Um, their Legion was obviously jungling. Um, was he? No. No, their Legion was in lane. Their Legion was in lane. Um, no one's jungling. We should have won top lane. We, we should have. Because at least Troll is ranged, and then... SK and Legion are melee, but SK does have his, his, uh, what's that? What's that called? Caustic Finale. So he didn't even have Caustic Finale at this point. So I don't know what the issue was for the guys at the top, but in any case. Bottom lane went okay. We didn't feed anything. We didn't give up anything, um... PL last hit, I'd say maybe half the half the waves. It was all right. Um, let's see. Oh, let's see how these guys are doing up here. Not too well. So instead of oh, that's just sad. So tower diving, not the greatest idea, especially with those two heroes. I mean, you can tower dive with Omni quite easily, but with the Troll, uh, I don't know, I didn't see the fight. It could have been good, but they do have a stun in the SK, and, well, Legion Commander is just pretty tanky, so that probably wasn't a good idea. Anyway, back to bottom lane. At this point, I'm just trying to harass as much as possible. I've got a bit of mana to work with, but as you know, Venge is an agility hero, um, with, let's see how our agility scaling is. Pretty good agility scaling. Come on, stop that. Really crappy, uh, mana scale, uh, intellect scaling, and okay, strength scaling. But, 
Venge is one of those support heroes where if you want to, she can transition to some kind of right click damage um, and can be really effective because of her stun and her uh, her W, which reduces armor. Um, and then, of course, she's got the passive, which increases damage passively, and then the swap. So the swap is really useful. You'll see later, I, I, I initiate a lot with swaps. Um, no, no, that's not true. That was a different game. This game, I think I use swap a lot to save my own ass. Um, because honestly, you know, you can swap any two units, right? Um, well, I guess except siege creeps. But yeah, you can swap enemy units, you can swap friendly units. units. Um, so I use my swap a lot to save myself, um, to the boon of myself, really. Um, so zero and four, all four deaths are <laughs> top lane. So, um, the coddle had a mic. It was nice. We had some pretty good communication. Um, and let's see. Oh, it looks like there's more trouble top. Trouble top. Yeah. Legion. Yeah, they're just crushing that. So at this at this point, we're like, okay, guys, we gotta try something differently. And I think I may I, I elect to start roaming soon. When did I start roaming? So I'm like, I'm gonna buy some wards, go ward up some shit, go roam, stack some camps, basically leave PL bottom because PL has a pretty good um, escape mechanism. I'm not really worried about him not being okay. I mean, me not being there will probably mean he gets a few, a few fewer last hits, but all in all, not too worried. Fortunately, we had some wards up, so the mid rotations were covered. Um, as you can see there, he knew. Uh, and then these guys got caught out again. Yeah, not ideal. So here I decided to rotate. I, as you saw, I ran all the way across the fucking map. I didn't want to spend money on a TP. Um, and fortunately, we kill both of these guys. So, um, not a total win, but not a total loss either. Like, we killed their Legion commander, so that's pretty awesome. But we also lost a troll, so not so awesome. <laughs> um, Omni Knight, um, not much in the way of items at this point. Not surprised, he was for, uh, him and troll were feeding quite a bit. Um, but I have a bit of money to play with, so what did I just buy? It's on the courier. Oh, I'll check the courier later. I decide I'm going to hang around top because these guys really need it. Um, and fortunately, oh, do I get, do I die? Yeah, I tried to deny myself the creeps, but it didn't work. Meanwhile, Caudle's farming quite well mid. Um, and he's got a whole bunch of money saved up because he's going straight for his eggs, which I think was a really the right thing to do because um, we we transitioned to more team fight later. Fortunately, um, their team... We were lucky in that they only had the few strong early game heroes that they did if they had had like a tusk or if they had like a, a tide hunter um if they had like an ancient apparition they really could have fucked us early game and we could have lost towers and that would have been that but they didn't they didn't push their advantage uh they let us have mid pretty easily um and they let us have bottom now that they did take the bottom tower down but that's kind of inevitable when you have a Wind Ranger and Alina pushing your lane and just a PL defending it. So here I'm um, just going to go for treads first because I'm starting to realize that if I don't take a bigger role physically in fights and ganks, that I'm not going to make an impact. And the, the first uh, two games I played Venge, um, I don't play Venge much. The first two games I played Venge, I really played as a straight up 
fifth position, spending all my gold on wards and like uh, mech, uh, four staff, all that shit to help my team. Um, and it didn't really work out. Uh, and I realized that especially when you're just going in a pub and not with people you know that um, you can't always rely on your carries to, well, there you go, to pull through. Um, so I was like, you know what? Me and this coddle, we know what we're doing. I'm going to hang out with this guy as much as possible. Now that was a mistake. I shouldn't have... Um, see, there I, I swapped to save myself, which was a good move. Um, but what I should have done to initiate was not initiate with the, uh, with the W, with the Wave of Terror. Uh, I should have... Um, uh, saved it, stunned, and then used it because they kind of saw where I was. And that was poorly played by myself as well. Um, I should have... Well, I couldn't really detect him. I should have run away. Um, but I thought I could man-fight him. <laughs> which was a mistake. Luckily, our troll comes to save our coddle. And our coddle's able to progress towards that early ags and he got his ags by the 11 minute mark which is really impressive he rotated into his jungle really well and i think he was stacking um stacking his camps uh when his lane was pushed a bit too far he was stacking his camps you know clearing lanes stacking clearing lanes clearing stacks you know so that worked really well for him Buying more wards, uh, yeah. So at this point, I'm like, I gotta get me some stats and some team fight in me. I gotta get some durability. So I'm just gonna go straight for Yasha and then build into a Sage and Yasha. Um, and that, that for not too much money, cause you can build in increments, right? You can build the Sage and then build the Yasha. Um, I decided to build this, the Yasha first to give me a bit more maneuverability, right? Give me that, uh, that movement speed, that attack damage. Oh my god, and I just made it out alive. Thank god for my magic wand. Yeah, so Yasha first to give me that movement speed. Um, and then give, and then I built a Sage and Yasha after because uh, it gives that maim and it also reduces attack speed. A lot of people don't realize that, that Yasha also reduces attack speed, not just movement speed. Which is fantastic since we are against um, a Legion commander and like a... Uh, Alina. Well, Alina, because, you know, the the whole spell right-clicky thingamajig. Thank God that guy mistimed that. He's still dead, though. Um, now they start to really push their advantage. It's 18 and 5. Um, it's starting to look like there's really little hope. Um, so my, my biggest priority is just to really come online as soon as I can. Keep wards up. Um, and the Omni Knight was cool enough to kind of build the items that we needed for the team. So I think, I think he was starting on his mech. Revenge, does he, did he build a mech? I can't remember. Um, something that I realized now that was a good decision was to build treads because our team needs mana but doesn't need mana if you know what i mean because we have a coddle um so mana was never going to be an issue um so here's another good team fight thank god for those treads here's where i swap myself out save my own ass fortunately omni had that heal as well so that was a good win uh, we probably could have picked off that Sand King had we been a bit more communicative, but most of the guys didn't have mics, and you know, like, you can't afford to start typing everything out in the middle of team fights. Um. So, even though we were winning the occasional skirmish, I'm not even going to say team fight, the occasional skirmish, um, Legion was still snowballing, and at 14-minute 14, 14 mark, she has 60 dual damage. Um, she's got an armlet, a blink, 
Like, and this Legion is getting fat. So she was a real issue. Um, fortunately for our team, we do have the Wave of Terror, and we have a lot of long-range stuff to deal with blinks and initiation. So we, you know, we have that Wave of Terror. We have uh, Coddles illuminate. Um, Okay, that's about it. Oh, we also have the Spirit Land. Not, that's not quite as far. But we have good vision on our team with the Illuminate and with the Wave of Terror. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. So here I was just stacking for my buddy. Unfortunately, I mistimed it. I was hoping to... Uh, I wasn't stacking. I was just... I was aggro winning and he was like, Ah, stop it. I'm going to hit both of them. But it was no big deal because Coddle never runs out of mana anyway. Um, what was Coddle? Oh, uh, Coddle was starting to build towards his Dagon, I think. So let's look, looking at the net worth, um, <laughs> oh, looking at the net worth, I'm a thousand above our troll. And you kind of see why troll isn't played much anymore, although this guy played his troll really shittily. Um, I'm not even that far behind Phantom Lancer. So our Coddle, our Coddle is second on the charts, and of course the Legion is topping the net worth. Um, so things still not looking good at this point, um, but I'm almost done my Yasha, almost done my Yasha. <laughs> it's kind of a story of a just a team feed. Um, SFDCs. I think he comes, yeah, he comes back. I'm just not sure when. Save our coddle. Get the fuck out. <laughs> you want to go? You want to go? A little bit of this and that. The SK. Little miscommunication on their part. Uh, the. Oh, see, I. I tried to swap him before his channel finished, but unfortunately I didn't. Fortunately, we did have dust, so I was able to finish him off. And uh, that was actually our first big team fight win. Yeah, that was our first big team fight win. That was that was kind of the fire under our asses, which got us to be like, hey, we can actually do well if we want to. Um, because they're starting to shit the bed, and honestly, that was a that was an okay team fight by us. Um, we had a good dust, but the biggest fuck up was the biggest issue was they fucked up, and like the Legion blinked in to try and um, duel our PL PL. Uh, wait, who did he duel? He tried to duel one of us, and there were four of us there. And you know, you stun the Legion commander. And then you have everyone just pile into him while the rest of his team's running away. That's not helping anyone. So you can see, uh, as a legion, you really have to know when to pick your fights. Same as anyone who initiates, really. Tidehunter as well. Um, it's a good thing he didn't win that. Otherwise, his net worth would have been ridiculous. Um, but <laughs> he's still topping the net worth charts. Even after that blunder, still topping the net worth charts. But... Um, those kills gave me a huge influx of money. I think I got like a thousand gold that fight. So that was my Yasha starting to build towards my Sanj, 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 and uh, you know I have a bit of extra, so I'm gonna purchase some Sentry Wards. Try and deward, just try and catch that Sand King if I can. Cause fuck, I hate that Sand King. <laughs> I love playing Sand King, but I don't enjoy playing against him very much. He's easy to counter if you have some vision, uh, and you have, if you have a stun. Very easy to counter. So now I'm like, hey guys, I'm going to start building towards some right clicks. So um, I'd appreciate some lane farm. So, you know, I take a bit of lane farm. Uh, no shame in that. No one else is stepping up to the lane. Omni's just kind of watching my ass, which I appreciate. And, uh, you know, top lane is trolls, coddles farming their jungle. Um, over the cliffs and PL was just farming bottom. 
Fortunately, we had good wards, so that PL was able to get out when he did. Um, and meanwhile, we just keep farming because we know that given enough time, our carry potential is much greater than theirs. Thank God this wasn't ranked because I think if it was ranked, um, we would have been done a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we would have. They probably would have raxed us at the 20 minute mark, if not sooner. But uh, yeah, they shit the bed, so it was fantastic. We shit the bed and they shit the bed. It was just a lot of bed shitting. <laughs> oh. You know, Coddle isn't played nearly enough. He's a pretty cool character. Um, he's just, if he doesn't get... If he doesn't get support, he can really, really fall behind. Okay. Here's where they start to get ballsy, and they realize, I think they realize at this point, that is, if they don't... If they don't take us, they're going to... If they don't take Rax soon, they're going to lose in a major way. So, SK misses his ultimate. They still get the PL, though. Um, but it's enough to repel them back. See, they're not, they're, they haven't even killed the T2 yet, and they were trying to... I'm not really sure what they were trying to do, honestly. More, more shitting the bed, and Troll dies up top, so... Back we do go kind of to kind of to square one. <laughs> uh, all we need is more time. We just need more time. So Coddle gets his dag on. He's all like, "Guys, this is it. This is the turning point." And uh, I'm like, "Okay, let's buy more wards. <laughs> we need more vision." Oh, Legion showing up on the mini map there. That's just. That's just a, a glitch. It's it's like sometimes with these uh, post game views, watching a watching a game after you've downloaded it and after it's already happened, um, you get these like visual anomalies. Was I was watching a TI five match two days yesterday, and uh, <laughs> there like I kept seeing every time some people were TPing into a, a, a team fight at a tower, there would be an extra teleport um, point. And then it would just stay there the whole fight. And I, I was like, it keeps teleporting. No, no, it's just, just a bug. Just a bug. Thanks, Valve. <laughs> uh, but if it's, you know, watching live, there's no issues. And that's really what's important. Um, something else I kind of, I'm not, maybe I wasn't dewarding the right places, but I never found any of their wards, like ever. I dewarded a few times. I don't think their team was really warding much i think their team was really being really greedy with resources and like i think wind ranger what's she up to okay that's that's interesting sk has quite a bit of farm no wards though um no wards definitely not gonna be wards on him so yeah none of their team was stepping up to be a team player really and that's important i mean i realize like in 6.84 hard carries are not quite as sought after because early team fight is really important but you still got to have someone buying the wards guys like if no one's gonna buy wards someone has to and if if your carry potential if if you don't need the money as much as like a pl does or as much as someone else then fucking buy the wards so this was a great fight. They missed their initiation on PL. Um, they tried to gank him. Fortunately, we were all there. Um, and I have my S and Y at this point. So chasing down that SF was not a big deal at all. At this point, <laughs> at this point, um, I don't know what they thought. If they thought they could fight us or something, I have no freaking idea. But uh, we were like, okay, guys, yeah, we're fucking pushing right now. Um, which time to push our advantage. And when you get opportunities like this, you got you got to make the enemy pay for it. You can't just take a few kills. You got to take some objectives as well. Um, you learn that from watching 
well, it's common sense, but all the all the really good teams punish mistakes at every opportunity. So this was a good initiation for SK. Unfortunately, he didn't have any... Oh, look at the damage. That's beautiful. When I could follow up. He didn't have anyone to follow up with him. Missed Shackle, thank God. He was about to blow that ultimate. Um, but I think I... Did I save my Coddle? No, I didn't even save my Coddle's life. So, it was a good swap, but... We didn't have the team support. Troll, I don't know what he was doing. He was dicking around, farming top. This PL is like, don't worry guys, I got it. And he kills the SF at least, and we're pushing top. But we could have taken the tower if we had focused on the tower. But guys, come on, just just help your teammates out and fucking take the objective. Don't go dicking around in the top lane when it's just like a 20 second walk to mid tower. I mean... <laughs> uh, 28 and 13 they're still doubling our score more than doubling our score and the legion's still way atop the net worth um, but as you can see um, Lena and Wind Ranger have fallen under most of us all except Omni Knight so slowly that comeback mechanic is working it's sweet sweet magic Here we go, gotta come back and defend. Also, farm, because why not? <laughs> um, what does Coddle have by this point? So he's got his dag on two, he's got his ags. Um, he's building the mech. Yep, yeah, Omni's building towards the mech. A late mech, but still a mech. Um, PL. PL's getting, uh, doing quite well. He's, you know, he's, he's more than halfway up on the net worth. Des you know, Diffuse a Blade, it's pretty good. Uh, especially towards a team like theirs, which are very mana dependent. You know, Lena, very mana dependent. Wind Ranger, very mana dependent. Um, SK, very mana dependent. Um, so yeah. Oh, you got picked off somehow. Oh, he was warding, that's why. So at this point we were like, oh guys, they're gonna push bottom soon. Um, I buy up some sentries because I have the money and I start building towards a desolator. That's what I start to do. And we realize that they are prepping and somehow we we're able to see this SK. I think is it tower vision? I'm not quite sure. But we make quick work of her and the Legion comes in and I swap it swap the legion into uh, the troll I'll take credit for that <laughs> and uh, yeah that was an excellent team fight and at this point we realize we should push I forget do we push if we don't push at this point we should be pushing because we can easily take mid tower we have all our people together oh they're pushing bottom it's a smart idea <laughs> if she didn't have a blink, she would have been mine. Okay. Um, we, here's where we realize Omni Knight is getting really ballsy, putting up great wards, but getting really ballsy. They obviously have some kind of vision there, and they see him. And Lena's like, oh. And I pick up this invisibility. Oh, this invi invisibility was so lucky to get. I don't think I could have gotten a better rune. Even DD wouldn't have been better. So I come up behind this Wind Ranger. We have the vision. They blow their ult just on one guy. And we fucking wreck them. And the SF does nothing with with his ult. And I've got my SNY, so I just beat the shit out of him. And that's a full team wipe. Fantastic. Um, so obviously we gotta take this tower and everyone on their team is down for at least 40 seconds. Lena's just up in a bit, but there's not much Lena can do. She is one of the poorest heroes on their team. Um, and I don't think she even has her ult ready. Doesn't really matter if, if she does. She can't one-shot any of us, I don't think. 
Anyway, combos are going to be hard, especially when someone's pushing high ground like this. So here we go. Pop that troll ult. Thank god that cooldown's like pretty much non-existent. I swap Lina. Boom. Dead. That's what you got to worry about. Uh, Vengeful Spirit with a level 3 nether swap. The range is 1200. That's insane. That's the range of a blink dagger. I mean, you gotta treat swap the same as you'd treat a blink dagger. You gotta be really back there. Because initiating, you can get initiated on. Like, just like that. So that's my desolator right there, plus another G of gold on top of that. That's how much gold you get for winning team fights and taking objectives. And thus, the snowball is bigger and bigger. So I've over I've overtaken the Shadow Fiend in net worth. Um, and the PL is almost up with those big boys. So, um, the Legion Commander, still up there, tries to go on this PL. And what happens here? Well, I realize this opportunity. They've really fucked up. They didn't get the initiation. I've got my Deso, melts him. Um, and SK is around here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Oh, I didn't have any detection. That sucks. Doesn't matter. We got three of them. <laughs> yeah, they really fucked the dog. They really did. <laughs> it was looking so... What was it? At like 10 minutes, it was like 18 and 5. Something ridiculous. Thank God our coddle was like on the ball. So yeah, uh, with the Deso, we melt the objectives. Uh... And I was like, you know what, I'll probably build into like a fucking crits or something, because why the hell not? We're already two racks up, but uh, at this point it really doesn't matter. We can still go get mega creeps even, because we've got the troll ultimate, still 10 seconds on their cores. They don't have ults either, their ults are all on cooldown, except maybe the duel. But the duel is not going to do much at this point because we've got um, so much support. Right? So here we go. We've got tons of support. Get our Omni Knight a win. <laughs> yeah. That's... And that's uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Omni Pops is all... For reasons I don't know why. But... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Can't even kill me. Pretty tanky though. Like, tons of armor. 18, 1900 HP, not bad. Ah, that was a fun game. That that game took me by surprise. Like it started off so poorly. Our our top lane fed six kills in under like six minutes, um, and then things just turned around. <laughs> Easy top indeed. Oh, <sighs> well, thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, I had a brain fart. Oh, it's been a long day at work. Just came back from a 12-hour shift. You guys don't want to hear about that, though. Good game. Good times. Thanks for watching. You guys stay chill, stay frosty. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.